tip I don't get ran over here. I'm going to do the, over here at the Flying J in Wells, Nevada. So I drove back to drove uh, eight and a half hours today, something like that. We are over here in Chester, it's Monday morning, and we are getting loaded, or we are loaded. So I went ahead and got loaded, uh, went ahead and strapped it down, and uh, went to tarp it, and was told that I wasn't allowed tarping on the property. It has to be tarped, but I gotta leave the property. So I have to leave the property altogether, basically go out back out where I was parked at over the weekend and tarp it out there, whatever. So I go in to get my paperwork, because I need paperwork, because I'm not walking the whole way back or driving back. And, uh, <laughs> the paperwork's not ready. There's some kind of credit hold on it. The company that bought it hasn't paid for it. He can't release it till it's been paid. He's trying to figure it out. He's been trying to figure it out since 7 this morning. And it is uh, 10 till 9. And still, no, nothing on the paperwork. So I'm just sitting here. I can't do anything. I can't tarp it. I can't do nothing until the paperwork clears. And I don't know when that's going to be. So that's what we got. We're sitting in Chester. Waiting to strap because I ain't allowed strapping on the property. So, <sighs> it's a crappy ass load. A crappy ass load. Anyways, that's what we got. Um, when we get the paperwork and we can get out of here and get some straps on it, we'll go from there. Uh, after getting here at uh, 10 till 7, being loaded right as I got here, I mean, literally, I was loaded at 7 30. Strapped this whole thing down. I've been sitting pretty much since 8 o'clock. It's now 10 30 and just got my paperwork so now on a normal job you would just start driving but now I can tarp it because they're not allowed tarping on the property I have to leave the property to tarp it so now I get to go out and spend the next hour tarping it which means I probably won't get out of here till noon or however long it's taking me to tarp we're gonna do it as fast as we can but that's what we got we're gonna get this thing tarped so we can get down the freaking road so we got the tarp rolled out. You can see we're up there pretty high. I don't know how high we are, pretty high. Um, three tarper here. And what I was doing here is just, you can see, these bungees right here. I'm putting a bungee in, hanging it down so I can do off the corners of all four of these tarps. So I got one on this side, one on that side. And then there at the blue, where the blue comes over to black, got one there. I got one there, up right in the front. So, you gotta be careful when you're walking up here. This is the big old hole where they got in between so you gotta learn to step over that kind of stuff kind of remember where you are or better yet crawl on your hands and knees that's what you're supposed to do actually that's the proper way to do it um but yeah that's what we got we're gonna go ahead and get this tarped i gotta get down though from way up here all right guys we got her all tarped up this is a high load for being pine i hope it's not overweight because they got her stacked freaking high usually don't stack it this high um Paperwork only says it's 30,000 now. So we'll see. I got, I used every bungee on this one. I have no bungees left. So I'm just doing a quick tire check and kind of show you guys what we got. Went right ready to roll. We got some mountain driving to do. So there's the back there. And coming down the side, trying not to be shaky. It's got a big hole in the center of it. I don't know how that was that going to do, but looks like crap, but there's nothing I can do about that. And that is what we got. Good to go. Claims it's 29,920 pounds. I don't know. We will see, I guess. We will see.
Well, anyways, hope I don't get ran over here. I'm walking through the over here at the Flying J in Wells, Nevada. So I drove back to Gross uh, eight and a half hours today, something like that. We didn't leave, got it loaded up there. I think it was like 12 o'clock when I pulled out. And uh, yeah, I ran the whole way down to Wells, Nevada, eight and a half hours or something like that. When I get back to the truck, we'll uh, take a look at it. But yeah, it's 10, 11 o'clock at night. And it might be midnight. I don't know what time it is. I pulled in here, parked. Um, ate the rest of my Wendy's burger that I bought when I got fuel over in um, Freely or Friley or however you say that. And then uh, <clears throat> I got Wendy's. I was like, I gotta get Wendy's. And we came over here, ate the rest of that burger and then went and took a shower. Now I'm heading back out. I'm thinking about going in and doing laundry because there's no one in there. I need laundry. I need to get laundry done nobody in there at the laundry machine because it's like freaking midnight who's in there at midnight perfect time to do laundry i'm not tired although i probably should go to sleep because i gotta drive tomorrow we're gonna try to crank another 500 um i don't even know how many miles i did today but i'm pretty sure i did damn close 500 we do 500 or more which is tuesday 500 on wednesday 500 on thursday we'll be set up for eight o'clock um delivery on Friday and now I got light a lighting issue oh, there's a big truck beside me and it's blocking the light but anyways we're on the back row and that's where I prefer to park back away from everybody now let me get into the truck and we'll uh, go from there so I've always wanted to stop at this rest area I've always come through here but never stopped this is this is you enter Utah on I-80 eastbound you can see I guess that's sand way back there I don't know I guess that's what that is this is cool the rest there I got this little walk up on this thing you got some views of the mountains over there we'll see what we can get and walk up this got a couple picnic tables restroom there's my truck so like I said I never stopped here before we're gonna walk up on here see what kind of views we can get stuff like that so like I said there's some mountains over here this is probably like 20 feet up 25 maybe 30 and you get up to the top welcome to the pond of the see if we can zoom in on that there's that and then as you can see Kind of it. All the sand. You got the mountains off in the distance. And the mountains over there. And some mountains there. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. We are shut down over here in Rollins, Wyoming. So we drove um, 470 miles today. Not quite 500. Um, when you're shooting for eight hours, yeah. Sometimes you don't get quite 500. Um, we did more. We were in, um, uh, let's see, eight hours, seven hours and 48 minutes today. And we did 470. Yesterday we ran eight hours and 21 minutes and did 460. So we did 10 more miles in almost a half hour less or whatever. I don't know, my math ain't that good. But uh, tomorrow we're gonna be running pretty decent pretty flat for the most part so we might be able to crank out in eight hours a 500 mile day we will see i haven't seen yet where we're going to stop at but um i wanted to get over here and get some tires looked at on my trailer uh at the boss shop there's a boss shop over here by the flying they're already closed they closed at seven i rolled in here at seven, seven o'clock 6 45 and i'm not waiting around in the morning because i gotta get down the road so i'm pulling out plan on pulling out at five in the morning so i'm just gonna drive down the road there's a love it's about 100 miles down the road i'm just going to drive down to that loads i'll leave here at five i should get down there right around seven i think they open around seven pull in there take a um 30 minute break and then just go over there and find out how long it's going to take them to take look at some tires i might also need to get a trailer inspection it's not expired but it, it runs out like the end of the end of the month not the end of this month we're in 
the end of next month. But it does run out pretty soon. So within like 35 days or so, it's going to run out. So I'd imagine um, Melton probably wants that to be inspected. So we're going to stop over there, I think, in the morning and get them tires looked at and um, see about getting that trailer inspected and then uh, go on down farther down the road about six more hours after that. So that's the plan. Not a whole lot happened today, just a lot of driving. And I'm over here at the Flying J in Rawlings. I think there's anything ever here in Rawlings. There might be a Loves up that way or something. I don't know. But anyways, that's what we got. Not a whole lot going on. We're going to roll out at five, like I said, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, guys. We are over here at our delivery, and we are untarping the load. Uh, probably ain't going to do a whole lot of recording at sight in here. We got to get this done. I got one side already unbungeed. I'm going to unbungee the other side. Brought my tarps, get the straps off, and we will go from there. We are over here in Wheaton, Illinois, and we are getting unloaded. So I got all the tarps already put away, uh, straps all put away, all the bungees put away, everything. And uh, they're out there. They got a couple more bundles, and we are going to be done with this load. So um, I'm not even sure this is a week long. I picked up on technically Friday and today's Friday but I've been there since Friday but we started on this load on Monday so and today's Friday so five days like I said I, I recorded here and there I'm not exactly sure what we all got for recordings but this is what we got we're done um get unloaded send them my empty call and uh we'll go from there we'll see what happens we get ready to go on home time so um today's Friday I go on home time on Wednesday so like four or five days three days whatever it is I'm going on home time so we'll see what happens from here but that's what we got.